Joining me now, Chairman of the American Conservative Union, Matt Slapp. There he Well, what's going on there, Matt? <laughs> We're going to take that up. We're going to have an investigative report tonight on that uh, that facial hair. Welcome back. Good to see you. Radio Great talk to be show here. host, Fox News contributor, Tammy Bruce. Great to have you with us. I'm glad Thanks we're not so talking much. about facial hair regarding me. <laughs> I think we're, we're, we're in pretty we're good gonna, shape. We're going to get to the bottom of this thing with Matt. <laughs> yeah. My gosh. Uh, the, the president today, uh, his address, Tammy, he talked about delivering for the NRA. It was a, it was a love fest. Uh, and, it, and the president continues to just do magnificently in those venues. Uh, he does. And this is what's great about that. Not only does he enjoy it, and I think it really reinvigorates him and reminds him about why he decided to do this in the first place, but this is the perfect way also. He's not just talking to that room or the 10,000 people that were there, but uh, to every American. And this is what he has to do, because the media will never give an inch, will never cover him fairly. He needs to do these kinds of events. He needs to do the rally on Saturday. The, the direct thing, appeal. Uh, the direct yeah. Appeal to people, and it's but it's more than that too. It's a reminder that he is going to work on these issues. He knows who elected him, yeah. and he's going to deliver. It might not be in a hundred or two hundred days, but he's working on it, and uh, he's going to deliver. Matt, uh, your thoughts? I know you've been uh, on a very special uh, trip to Italy, a pilgrimage, and uh, and I have to say that you know the facial hair. What does Mercedes say about it? You know, there's only one person whose judgment I really care about, and that's Mercedes. And I got the thumbs up, so right. I'm, getting well, a, I'm getting a few more days. <laughs> well, it's good to have you back with us, and thanks so much. Well, Lou, can I just say, sure. you know, this, uh, this idea of the president dancing with the one who brought him to the dance is something Ronald Reagan uh, did when he came to CPAC in the first year of his presidency. Donald Trump came to CPAC. Donald Trump went to the NRA. He is unashamed to hang out with the very voters who put him in office. Well, and, and that's a good thing because that direct uh, connection that he does have, I mean, we can talk about it in subjective terms uh, when we're talking about this going back out uh, on the campaign trail, if you will, and, and connecting with these rallies, which I think is a wonderful thing for him to do for him as well as uh, the voters. Uh, and, and with the NRA, which continues to be an ardent supporter of his, and it's a reciprocal uh, uh, matter, but, uh, you know, he, this connection he has with Twitter and uh, Facebook, uh, this is a president uniquely equipped to maintain a lofty presence but, uh, you know, but with, his, uh, with his supporters uh, that no other president I can, that I can think of anything approaching it. Yeah, absolutely. And the intensity uh, with which Trump supporters uh, respond to what the president does is not really ever related in these polls including the fake polls that, uh, that, that are covered. The fact is, is this, uh, Donald Trump's base is very supportive of what he's been doing, and if the election were to be retried, he would do even better. Yeah. And so it's growing. Yeah, and you know, also, we've got still, Americans, it's double. Uh, on the right, if the country's on the right track, that is, remains double than when it was with Barack Obama. So uh, the American people understand what the agenda is and what the intentions are. And I think the problem children are recognized as being Paul Ryan uh, and, and Mitch McConnell and the establishment Republicans in Congress. We now understand Donald Trump is, in fact, the change maker, and, and that is, remains the problem and that he will have to continue to confront it. And I think he's doing precisely what most Americans uh, expected him to do when they voted for him. We've got 30 seconds each for you. Uh, Tammy, first you. A summation of his 100 days in your judgment. Oh, I think he's delivered exactly on what he promised to do. Just his presence has shaken up the entire system. Uh, he has uh, made it clear, even though he's working on certain things, what his intentions remain on being. They're, they've moved forward on things. But where he's delivered as a new dynamic is foreign policy, and he's won there as well. Matt? Quickly, I'll just say, if the economy is humming and the American people feel like their economic prospects are improving, Donald Trump will be in a very good political position, and, he, and he's keeping his eyes focused on that most important thing. Yeah. Uh, he's still the hardest working man in uh, politics, and he has something new, and I, I call it the Mar-a-Lago ease about him uh, and command in every situation in which you see him or uh, any part of the, the country. Uh, Matt, thanks for being with us. Welcome thank home. You, Lou. And Tammy, thank you for uh, not going anywhere and being with us throughout. Thank you, Lou. Some people you can count on anyway. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. Oh, my gosh. Arrivederci. Uh, a conservative goes native in Italy. <laughs>